today we are going to make a sea creature. A sea creature? Yes. Whoa. He lives on land as well as in the water. I'm so excited. And we're going to make a crab. Ooh, crab. I could do a crab walk. <laughs> yeah. I know. That's fun. So to do today's craft, we need um, two, sh two sheets of paper. I chose okay. to make a red orange color for our crab. Yeah. And blue for the background. And blue. Yeah. That's we need good. a black marker, a pair of scissors, a glue stick, and a piece of white scrap paper for his eyes. Oh, this is gonna be so fun! We're gonna make a crab! I know, it's pretty exciting. So we're gonna take our red sheet of paper and we're gonna fold it in half. We're gonna line up those corners. Yeah. And we're gonna fold it right down the middle. Okay, that looks good. Right. And then we're going to take our scissors and we're gonna cut and make like a half circle or kind of make a rainbow cut. If you know what a rainbow looks like, we're just gonna make it kind of go up in the middle and come back down. Oh yeah, okay, we can do that. Right, and then we're gonna take our leftover scrap paper and line up the corners and fold them. And we're gonna use this corner to make circles. We're gonna make four red circles by holding all of that extra paper together. Oh yeah. We're gonna fold it and just kind of cut in a round path. And we're going to make our circles. They don't have to be perfect because we're gonna end up folding them to make the claws on the crab. Oh yeah! Oh, crabs have claws and they snap, 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 snap. Right? Yes, they yeah. snap, snap, snap is exactly right. And I hope I never get pinched by one of those claws. Oh, me either. I don't want to be pinched by a claw. I'm glad these are just paper. I know, I'm with you. Noodle. So we're going to take our um, white piece of paper and we're going to fold it in half because we want to make two white eyes. Okay. So it doesn't matter if our circles aren't perfect, but they'll be exactly the same because both of our eyes are usually exactly the same. We're just going to kind of make it into a little circle and then we're going to use our black marker to make oh, the eyes. They're going to kind of look like my eyes. Look. Oh yes, they'll look just like your eyes. Yeah. And you know what? We're gonna put our Bible verse in the middle, right underneath that front flap of our crab. So oh. we're gonna have his eyes, the crab's eyes looking down so that he can look at the verse that we're writing, right? Oh, we've been learning this verse all week. Do you know what verse? Yeah, I do, I do, I do. It's Ephesians 3, 18. It says, grasp, how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Isn't that amazing? Do you know what that means, Noodle? That means he loves me so much. I can't even know. I can't even understand it so much. I know. It almost makes me think of the ocean. How wide it is, how long it is, how high it is, and how deep it is. Because we know those waves can be really, really high too. And God loves us that much. It's amazing. Oh, I love this. This is going to help me remember the verse. Right. So let's finish putting our crab together. We're going to take our glue stick and we're going to glue the body down. But we're not going to glue on the edges because we still have to draw his arms and his legs. Because we know a crab has. Do you know how many legs a crab has? Uh, is it like a spider? We'll have like eight of them. You know, I think they have 10, but in this little picture that we're making, we can make as many as we want because that's the beautiful thing when you're making your craft at home. You can make it have as many as you want. Okay, you can give it like 27 legs. You think that's what yeah. we <laughs> I love having your help, Noodle. And then we are going to draw two little black lines at the top okay. so that we can have his eyes glued right above kind of has those bulging eyes that'll be looking down at our verse. Yeah, so he can really know it. Yeah, and we really want to know God's word. How do you think we can go about knowing God's word? What could oh, we do? Oh, we could. We could have mom and dad read the Bible us. That is exactly right, Noodle, because those words are very important. And the Bible, those are God's words. Yeah, and you know what else? We could go to church. Oh, absolutely. And I think that's a wonderful idea. 
Yeah, that's so good. Your mm -hmm. crab's looking so happy. I know, now we're gonna glue our circles on to make the cloth. We're going to make sure that we're gonna have the round part of our cloth facing out. Okay. And a straight edge on the end so that it looks like it's snapping out. Snap, 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 snap. Snap, snap, snap is right. And then we'll just have a meat at the bottom so they look like they're pinching out. Oh, I love this. And then we can take our craft and open up the body of the crab and we can write our verse. <gasps> yeah, Ephesians 3, 18. Right, and when we write our Bible verse, we can practice reading it and sharing it with our friends and family. Yeah, we'll put it on the screen so friends at home can see. Right, and we'll write as neat as we can and practice putting all of God's words right down on paper so we will always have it. And when we look at the craft, we'll remember. Yeah, we'll remember grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Right, and if we ever forget how big that is, we could always think of the ocean. Oh, this has been so wonderful. Well, I am so happy, Noodle, that I've had you to help me with all of my crafts. Oh, thank you so much, Miss Deanna. Well, I am happy to have you with me whenever we do these. Oh, I hope well. all of our friends at home have enjoyed making their craft with us. Well, is our craft all done? Our craft is all done. Oh, what do you happy. think? He looks so cute. Oh, thank you, Miss Deanna. Thank Anna. you. This has been the best. Thank you, boys and girls, for doing crafts with us. We've enjoyed it. Yeah, okay, have a great day.